guys, what's going on? It's Castle Perfect here, once again bringing you another live commentated Wi-Fi battle. This time again, I am battling uh, the person called a person called Rick on Twitter. Rick, let's go ahead and have a lot of fun. You guys, thank you very much for all the support and all the freaking comments and the likes. And once again, you guys are amazing, and I truly like that, man. Had to have some some of the nicest people around on YouTube. You guys. You guys are awesome. Just keep that in mind. You guys are awesome. And keep up the support because it tremendously helps out the channel. I mean, it's growing. We're over 6K. 6,000. 6,000 is a lot of people. Thank you so much. Remember to comment this video if you want to keep up that amazing support. And what we've got here is, uh, is a situation. Uh, my opposition here has a very, very nice team, I'd say. Uh, of course, I would like to take a picture real quick. Because without the picture, I won't be able to like memorize every single Pokemon at all times. So let me put my phone just like that, right next to the camera that I use to record my Wi-Fi battles. Now, <coughs> let me cough just a little bit right there, so my throat stays still. My opponent has an amazing team, I gotta say. He's got a very, very weird combination of Pokemons, but... They absolutely look amazing. I'm obviously going to start off with Moly, which is a new team member, and then put the rest of the guys, um, give them a number, and I have like, I have one, two, I have two te new team members on this team, and uh, you'll see them in action. They're actually Cottony and, uh, oh, no, not Cottony. I mean, I'm talking about Whimsicott, and Moly is going to be the Dolphin, which are both Pokebanked, and they are both freaking shiny and they're amazing. They are freaking cool looking. And uh, possibly in this game you will see them dancing around and putting up some work. And look at this shiny Dome fan. How sweet is that? How? Like, seriously, a like for that feat. Wow, it's a shiny suit. What is a battle of the shiny Pokemon? <coughs> and, if, and if that doesn't deserve a like, then I don't know what is. Uh, what does, actually. So. I'm going to start off this battle by going for the quick Stealth Rocks, which he will most likely do or put up as well, because, I mean, so the one is not even moving, like, look at that thing. It's the Mimicking Tree. All right, now it moves. All right, that's cool. It is funny to f when when I find the pseudo Woodos together in the same horde as a uh, Trevenant. It's always just like, hey, yo, I'm just chilling over here, just looking like a Trevenant, because that's what I do. All right, Mr. pseudo Woodo. I am going to go for the knockoff right now. Or maybe an earthquake. Actually, I'm just gonna go for an earthquake, cause that would be that would do super effective damage. Not to mention, we'll hit whatever is on his team. He doesn't have like a Leviator or a flying type, so that's actually very good. And uh, you know, knockoff can can wait. Knockoff can wait. It's it's really not necessary to go for a knockoff right now. I'm just gonna go for an earthquake here. That's super effective and that does so much damage. Brings him down to the sturdy. That was so close, and he's gonna return the favor and gonna go for the earthquake himself. That obviously is gonna do less damage. That was a crit. Oh my god, it doesn't do anything. Like this shiny dolphin, Moly, you're amazing, Moly. And uh, just gonna go for another. No, I'm actually gonna go for the knockoff here. Or, um, nah, I'm just gonna go for the earthquake because it's the most powerful attack that I have for my uh, move pool. <laughs> Not to mention that there is really no need for me to go for a knockoff and like reveal that I have that move because I still have that uh, surprise uh, like like uh, power where my opponent doesn't know that I'm running knockoff on this thing. So I think that I'm going to be using knockoff on that um, spirit tomb because I'm pretty sure it will go for the Will-O-Wisp. So maybe I'll try to predict that first, but um, at some point I'll have to go for the knockoff, I guess, because I really think that thing has folk love leftovers. And uh, so that's that. Those are the kind of items that you really want to knock off, uh, off of walls. And uh, now Jelly Queen is gonna come in, which is a Jelly Scent. And I could e I could go either for a knockoff, which deals for super effective damage, or I could just try and sponge his Scold from, uh, from that thing because that would be super effective. And uh, I'm not sure what I should do at this point, really. Uh, if I switch out into Latias, can go for the T Bolt. There's really nothing else on his team that can take a T-Bolt. I mean, there are a couple that can take T-Bolt, but um, there is, like, nothing immune to it. I could switch out into Cotton. Uh, but then again, um, I'm not sure. Like, what would I do? Lead Seed and Core. 
Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm actually going to predict him to go for the Scald. I'm going to go out into uh, Cotton. And I'm going to encore the thing into Scald. So I can then proceed to go for Lead Seeds and stuff. Um, I'm pretty sure he's going to get the uh, Burn uh, Hex at some point. But, I mean, that's like whatever. It will always happen. I have that shiny Cotton. That shiny Whimsy God. So freaking awesome. So he's going to go for the Trick Room. <coughs> I should have gone for the freaking Knockoff, man. That would have been way more useful than uh, switching out at this point. Hmm. I see what you did there, but um, I have the Anchor ability, so I'm just going to go for the Anchor here. And I'm going to Anchor him. Oh my god, he's going to switch. He is going to switch out, which is really... Oh my god, that, that's like crazy. That sucks, man. Alright, can of course not knock on, um, like, Anchor this thing into anything, because it truly haven't, hasn't used any single move. So I'm just going to go for the Substitute here. And see if he goes for like a Mega Horn and he misses, which is kind of possible, but I think he's going to go for the Iron Head, which of course in the Trick Room, it, it makes him faster. But um, Prankster allows me to go first anyway, because like my moves are priority. Only those moves that are not not, not, not attacking, like uh, like Substitute, um, non-damaging moves. So he's going to go for the Poison Jab, which, okay, that, that was a possible move as well. That's actually... I think that's four times super effective. Because fairy type is weak to poison. <coughs> and grass type is also weak to poison. So I'm in a predicament right now. I need to turn on the screen once again so I can always have that double check on his team. So, alright, so left leftovers is really pretty useful on this thing, but then again, like going for substitute is really not a choice anymore. Or not an option. So, I am going to switch out into Molly. Because Molly is like the, the most bulky thing that I have on my team at this point. That can take physical damage from a Scavalier like that. And if it goes for the Poison Jab, I mean, he, he will always have the chance of getting a Poison off. Which is, you know, very hexy and stuff. But um, that's going to be okay. I mean, it's kind of part of the game. And I'm just talking about it and, uh, and that's going to happen. I knew it. I knew it. <coughs> I just freaking knew it, because when I talk about hacks, man, they always happen. And it's really freaking annoying, but, um, hey, I can, I, what can I do about it? I'm just going to go for the Earthquake now. Or, yeah, I'm actually going to go for the Knockoff, because I think this thing is actually Choice Banded. And I'd rather I knock that Choice Band off, because that thing is really, really, a little bit too powerful, I'd say. And there is also the possibility that that he decide that he decides to switch out back into the jelly sand. I don't have any idea why he would do that, but he could do that. And then I could just go for the knockoff and uh, you know deal for some super effective damage. But hey, uh, at this point it doesn't really matter because knockoff is actually super effective against like two of his or three of his Pokemon's. No, two of his Pokemon's because dark resists dark. So Malamars actually takes reg regular damage from that. And uh, he's actually really taking his time. Rick is kind of intimidated by Molly because, I mean, look at Molly. I mean, just look at Molly. She's, sh like, <coughs> he's shiny. Shiny Dolphin. That looks so amazing. Really, guys. The thing, man, it's like, what? Wow. It's impressive, I tell you. This is one hell of an impressive shiny. Uh, the color, man, the color sprite. It's... It's outstanding in this game. It looks so good. So, anyways, Rick, are we making a move today, or are we just going to sleep behind the desk thinking of a better move till tomorrow morning? I uh, I don't know, but I don't really have that kind of time. All right, so he decides to go for the Iron Head, trying to get the flinch. Makes sense, and he gets the flinch. All right, so he first got the first axe like poison, and then he's now gonna get the flinch. Like, all right. I see what you did there, game. I see what you did there, but just do not give him another. All right, so, okay, that's cool. That's freaking awesome. He does not freaking have the Trick Room anymore. And I'm just going to go for the Earthquake at this point, because I really want to do as much damage as I possibly can. And he, oh my god, he has Protect on his move pool. Are you serious? Dude, Are you? were you really, like, fishing for that for that poison so you can stall me out? That, wow. As I, I feel violated. I feel really bad. I feel like used in a way and thrown away in the wild. I don't like that. I'm just gonna go for an earthquake. 
And this time I hope I can hit this thing. Because otherwise, like, it's it's quite taking a long a long time before I can actually get an earthquake off or maybe a knockoff. Like, why would you get a flinch, man? That was not cool. Look at Molly. Molly looks amazing and you're just freaking hacking Molly to death. You don't do that. And you'll definitely pay back for that. Earthquake time. Come on, it's summer time. Oh, 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 oh. Can touch this. Come on, man. Um, I don't know. I think that I do the same thing. Sometimes I'm thinking and talking so much that the, the opposition is like, wow, dude, just make your move. It's taking so long. But I'm going to be able to get the earthquake off here, and that's not really going to do that much damage. Wow, that's impressive. That's, in fact, impressive. That's really, really impressive. He's going to hit me with an iron head. He's going to bring me down to red. The poison is just going to miss killing me, which is fortunate. And uh, I'm just going to get another earthquake off before I actually go down because, quite frankly, I don't have any use for Molly anymore. And he's just going to go for the protect. Couldn't you just, like, go for something else, man? Really? Mr. Badass. I'm not sure if Poison is going to take me. Uh, yeah, yeah. Poison is going to kill me from this range. Which really, really totally sucks. Oh, he's not going to kill me. Wow, that's good. He thought he would kill me. Uh, he thought he would kill me. I thought he would kill me. But um, the Poison is feeling re feeling generous. Or I, or I guess Leftovers, you know, kept me alive at that, that time. So right now I'm going to be able to get that Earthquake off one more time before I actually go down. Which I actually have kind of a, a kind of a weird feeling that I don't even know what kind of uh, item that um, Escadrille has or Escavalier, sorry. It's really mysterious. It might just have like something along the lines of uh, expert build, maybe uh, safety goggles, or I don't know. You name it, like I really don't know. All right, so it's gonna switch out. He does not want more damage on the Escavalier. And I'm going to end up hitting the Behihime or something. Behirsimen. <laughs> I don't know what the name is of that thing. And that does not do any damage. That's ridiculous. Oh, wait. I, I just... I wasn't looking straight. So it does like 50% damage. It does quite a lot and that is really, really awesome. So Donovan is going to go down now. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and look this guy up because... Um, I don't remember the name, and I think it, it's, it was one weird-ass name. Uh, it is Behiem, 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 that's what the... That, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right, I just give up, okay? I, I'm just gonna give up. It's okay, it's okay that I don't know how to pronounce this guy's name, but... It's okay, I guess I'm, I'm not gonna lose an arm or something. Um, I am going to go out into... Yeah, feeling Arcanine. I'm I'm really feeling Arcanine. <coughs> and I'm actually gonna go out into TM87 here. Um, he will be able to go for the Brave Bird and just seal off the deal here, uh, because quite frankly, going out into Arcanine is really not a, not not that smart because I can go I can lock myself into like Flare Blitz and he might just switch out into like the Jelly Scent and Sponge it. I don't feel like something like that. Uh, so I'm just going to go for the Brave Bird. I'm just going to Brave Bird everything at this point. And he's going to switch out. And I don't know what he's going to switch out into. He's going to go back into Scavalier. Alright. Mr. Scavalier, you're going to take a Brave Bird to the Doom. And that's actually going to hurt quite badly. Now that I think about it, he might just have a Rocky Helmet. Which would make sense. I mean, it would make sense. Alright, so I lose a little bit from the Recoil. And I get a Moxie Boost, which is amazing. And uh, apparently, I don't. He doesn't have Rocky Helmet, which is good. I still have no idea what kind of item the thing has. Yellison is gonna come in, and since I think, I believe, I'm not sure if Destruct Destructive Skitty, uh, the person that gave me this uh, uh, Pokemon, trained the Huntro in speed, but I believe he di she did. So I'm just gonna go for the Brave Bird and trust the fact that um, it's going. It's actually trained in speed because mine is. And it would absolutely outspeed a Jelly Sand. So I'm just going to go for the Brave Bird here. And uh, I'm just going to do as much damage as I possibly can. I mean, a plus one, I think that I'm going to be able to take this thing down. Yeah, I do. I'm able to take him down, which is absolutely fantastic. Now, two Pokemons are down because of TM87. And uh, 
He's doing a very, very good job. And I get another Moxie boost, which is... I'm at plus two right now. I'm like... It's like I just used a Sword Dance, which makes me threatening to the max. Now, she is going to bring out... Or he is going to bring out this thing. Uh, the Malamar. And the Malamar is absolutely going to attack me, so... I am going to go for the Sucker Punch instead of anything else. Oh, I failed! He gets a Trick Room off. Wow, well, whatever the case, it doesn't matter. It, it really doesn't matter at this point because a Sucker Punch will always, you know, hit this thing. Or he might just get a, like, a, a, a substitute off. Then uh, it would totally suck. But I don't think he has substitute. I mean, the only guy that I know that has substitute on Molomar is, uh, is Pyrotus. Pyrotus, you know, he the guy, he has a uh, substitute on Molomar. But I'm not sure if this person has the same thing. I don't think this person has the same move pool. So, I'm guessing it doesn't. I'm just gonna go for the Sucker Punch here. I'm gonna go first, of course. And that is... Oh my god, it's gonna barely take him out. What? What? Like, I don't understand what just happened. I'm a plus two attack. I should be able to take down this thing. Wow, that doesn't make sense. I thought it would kill, even though it does uh, regular damage. But hey, that's okay. Alright, so he's got two Pokemons left, I think, because Excavalier is dead. Oh no, Excavalier is dead. Uh, Jelly Scent is dead. Sudowoodo is dead. And uh, he's uh, Behe Behime or, or Be Behem, Behem or something is actually also dead. So I'm just gonna break Havoc with Arcanine. Absolutely. I feel like going for a late game sweep, like a small sweep going on here with Arcanine. He's gonna go for the Flare Blitz, and uh, I'm gonna take down this thing. Uh, Intimidate is actually gonna raise his attack, which does <laughs> that um, that contrary, man, that contrary. I'm just gonna go for the uh, Flare Blitz, and he's gonna go for the Super... Uh, he is faster! Oh yeah, because of the... Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I am... Oh my, I'm so stupid. The Trick Room, of course. Chris... <laughs> this, this, this... The Trick Room, bro. The Trick... How... How could you forget that? Like, what a moron. Holy shit. Are you serious? Oh, that might just cost me the game, dude. Oh my god, that was really, really, really stupid. Alright, so, I know what to do. I'm just gonna stall the turns of Trig Room, basically. And I'm gonna go for the substitute. And uh, because of pranks, I'm gonna, uh, that's gonna allow me to go first, of course. Uh, in case you guys didn't know, like, uh, non-attacking moves such as Substitute, like Will-O-Wisp, Lead Seed, um, or moves like that that do, that do not uh, do direct damage, they are allowed to go first by Prankster. So, it, Prankster actually basically makes them priority moves, which is actually kind of cool. So, I'm just going to go for another Substitute here, uh, because at some point I, I, I need to be able to get a, a Moonblast off, because I need to kill this thing. And, uh, yeah, I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting until Trig Room, like, wears off. Alright, I'm just gonna get a little bit of Leftovers Recovery. The Dimensions are twisted back to normal, which is absolutely fantastic. Now, I'm just gonna go for the Moonblast here and take this thing out. And, uh, pretty much seal the, the victory, I guess, in a way. I I'm not sure what, um, his, uh, what is it called again? His uh, Spirit Tomb is capable of, but, um, a Moonblast is super effective against the Molomar. And he's down to one Pokemon. I get a... Completely useless critical hit, like, what? Why would you even give me a critical hit right now? That doesn't make sense, game. You know I don't need that. That, that just looks, make me, that, that, that kind of stuff makes me look bad, you know? But anyways, it's gonna bring out his last, oh, Behime, oh, <laughs> Be, Behi, Behiem is actually still alive. Wow, I thought this thing was dead. Okay. I feel like I should switch out into a soul, which is gonna be blue. I'm gonna switch out into blue, which is a soul in Spanish. And it's gonna be Latios, and uh, I think he's gonna go for the psychic. He's gonna go for the trick again. Are you serious? I might lose this game. I might lose this game for just that stupid. Oh my! I'm such a moron. Ab wow! Why am I so? I, I don't know, my brains are failing today. I'm just gonna go for the Thunderbolt right now. I just don't even know what else he has left on his team, like, for real. Legit, 
What do you have left? I don't really... I thought this thing was dead. So, right now he truly has only two Pokemons left. I can see it on the screen. I wasn't really paying attention to that. I was looking at the picture on my phone that I made at the very beginning of this battle. Off his team, so... Um, he's got that Spiritum left and uh, the Behem. So he's gonna go for the Psychic, which obviously <coughs> is, super, is not super effective. And it is not gonna be able to do that much damage to me, which is great. Uh, a Thunderbolt will be sufficient to take this thing down, which is absolutely fantastic. And he only has one Pokemon left, which is going to be the um, the uh, Spiritum. And, uh, you know, Spiritum can basically be whatever. It can be anything. At this point, it can be anything. Um, it can be a physical sweeper, like with Sucker Punch and uh, stuff like that. Or it can just be a, a, a like a, a setup Pokemon like Will-O-Wisp, Substitute... Or maybe a special attacker, Nasty Blood, Dark Pulse. It can be basically anything. And at this point, I just feel like going for the Draco Meteor. Just doing as much, dam as much damage as I possibly can. Okay, so Shadow Boy is going to take me out. God damn it. Like, it's so weird. Every time that I battle against Latios, they seem to be so overwhelmingly powerful. And whenever I use them, they are so shit. They are full of crap, man. They are like, wow... Freaking, it sucks, man. It sucks. All right, uh, Mr. Mr. Spiritum. He's going to go first if I go for the Moonblast. So, I'm not sure if I can set up another sub. I don't think that I can. But going for the Lead Seed is really not... A I think the Lead Seed is like the only thing that I can do right now. So, I'm, that's basically what I'm going to do because I can go first. And he's absolutely going to kill me on the next turn. So this actually has come. This battle has come down to one versus one, and I am basically going to lose because of my own stupidity. I should have gone for extreme speed when I had the chance with Flash instead of going for a Flare Blitz. I don't know what I was thinking. I, I I don't know how I could forget about the freaking Trick Room. But hey, let's go ahead and try this before this match ends. I'm just gonna go for the trade. Just trace that pressure. Which is absolutely not really going to help me out in the long run, quite, if I'll be honest with you guys. I'm just going to go for the Mega Evolution. And, uh... Okay, wait, I have options. I have options. I can go for the Destiny Bond. <laughs> yeah, I can actually go for the Destiny Bond. Leave through a Shadow Ball. Wait, but Moonblast is super effective, so I'm not sure if it will kill. Alright, so I can... <laughs> I have two options. I can just either go for the Moonblast, try to kill this thing, or I could just take him down with me with Destiny Bond, but at the end, he will be the victor. Because, you know, using Destiny Bond is not really like a move that you can win with. So I'm just going to go for the win. I'm just going to go for the Moonblast here. Hopefully I can sponge, like, a Shadow Ball coming from this thing, and I'll be able to, like, go for the Moonblast and deal super effective damage and, like, take him out. That would be totally awesome, but I don't think that's going to happen. So he's going to go for the Anticipated Shadow Ball. That's super effective, and that's not going to take me down. I live with 17 HP, which is absolutely outstanding. I'm going to return fire with the Moon Blast, and that's going to take him down, which is absolutely awesome. It makes this game a 1-2-0. This was a hell of a close game, Rick. Thank you very much for the match. I almost lost it because of my own stupidity. And guys, thank you very much for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll definitely love you guys forever. Remember that if this video reaches 50 likes, I will be giving you guys another live commentated Wi-Fi battle. Uh, but before that time, remember to put up the support. Keep up the support, and I'll keep up the support as well. So, everybody, thank you very much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.